hi, welcome back. Um, so today is a research day. Um, so I wanted to kind of give you an idea and show you what happens when, for me, when I'm looking at producing a series like this, um, there's research that I need to do. And I pulled out all of my books from having gone to Ireland, things that I have pulled over the years. Um, here's one, like, I mean, I even found, like, this is a really great little, um, book with little various and sundry Celtic crosses, um, everything in different shapes and designs. So absolutely adorable inspiration. Um, and Linda's Farm Gospels, the Book of Kells, the Book of Darrow, Celtic motifs, everything. So I've got this big list as well as a landscape book. Um, so when I'm looking at doing something like this, and I know I want to do research, well, I had the privilege of being able to go to Ireland, um, not once, but twice. Um, and that is where I was able to see things like face to face. And that really, and that was a huge inspiration, um, as I was able to, um, pull out at least this, the beginnings of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to have a tree of life. I knew I wanted to have a green man. I knew that I wanted to have, um, some sort of Celtic cross, like a St. Bridget's cross, something along those lines. So, um, however, that's three paintings. I'm going to need more than that. So what I have here is a, um, list. I started a list, um, tree of life, green man. I knew I wanted some sort of Celtic spiral. They typically come in three. Um, I'm going to show you one in just a second. That's two. I know I want to do something with some standing stones. Here's my Celtic cross. <laughs> And then in looking through one of the books just now, I forgot about a shamrock. I realized that that seemed, you know, maybe kind of trite, but I was like, look, it's in the book of Kells. Um, so that was kind of funny. Um, so this is a book that I got while I was in, um, at Trinity College in Dublin, um, where you can go and see the book of Kells. If you ever get the opportunity, I highly recommend it. Um, the first time I went, the exhibit was, it was a good exhibit. You got to go through and you get, you know, you get to see the different pages and then they have other illuminated manuscripts. there, not just the book of Kells. I mean, it's just one book. So it'd be a very short and very um, small exhibit um, if it was just focused around that. Uh, but when I went back um, many years later, y'all, the exhibit that they have created around the book of Kells is astounding. Um, just absolutely incredible. 100% would re recommend going and just letting yourself be immersed. Um, it was just fantastic. Um, so those of you who have a keen eye, especially for reading upside down, um, because I don't have my camera set up to have you look over my shoulder. Um, yes, this is in German, Das Buch auf Kells. Um, Ich kann ein bisschen auf Deutsch sprechen, um, aber es ganz schlecht. Uh, my German is horrible. I speak a little, um, at the time, my German was a little bit better, um, but it, I don't get to practice, so therefore, you, it's not good. Um, however, um, since what I am looking at are images and symbols, this works out just fine. Um, and I want to show you, as I was flipping through here before, um, looking at some images, um, I might have done this video already like a couple of times before I realized that you couldn't see anything when I'm flipping through books. It's awesome. Here we go. Um, right here <laughs> is a little four leaf clover. Um, this one was like, oh, hi, four leaf clover. Okay, there we go. I'll include that. Um, add that to my list. Um, was not expecting to see that. And I'm going to uh, tag this page as a reference since I now know. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at something similar to that um, from the Book of Kells. And then this is another book um, that I got. I believe I got this one when I was at Newgrange. This is N.L. Thomas, Irish Symbols. Um, just to give you an idea, where's the map? So he's got a map here. So we'd flown into Dublin. Newgrange is here. Um, now at Newgrange, North and Douth are there. And Newgrange was open. That's what it was. Newgrange was open. North and Douth were not open at the time. Um, we were there. Um, and then uh, didn't even, you know, I, there's so much there. Um, it didn't, it didn't make it to um, Lockrew or Fornox. 
unfortunately didn't even make it to Terra. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself. Um, but we went all over Southern Ireland. Um, it's just amazing. Um, next time I get to go, I'd like to go north um, into Northern Ireland. Um, this book is really amazing um, because this author, um, Mr. Thomas, not only did he investigate the symbols, but he has their definition, the symbol, and what it means. Like, why is it this way? And I made a notation for myself before, because the Celtic spiral that is in my head is one that's three, not two. But then I was reminded that here, um, the equinox, spring, and autumn. So since equinox, the days are of equal length, so it's dual spiral signs and so that is a symbol that I want to um, incorporate in one of the paintings somewhere um, but he's I love the fact that he's been able to go through and identify look this one is numbers and it's in comparison across multiple um, civilizations and so uh, that was oh that was pretty cool um, he's looking at the there's a calendar, North Curbstone. Okay, so here is one of the things that you'll be able to see where you can identify the various spirals and then ridges and curved lines. And so this is the solar year. Um, signs so I like this and I think this would also um, make a really good image um, and I can define this into a circle so I can play with this a little bit and how this goes all the way around I could do around this one edge I could bring that all the way around or around half of it and develop some of these so I like that so I'm going to make a note here the curbstone. And then that way I know what page is on you and I've got it stickered. So that is what today is. Um, I realize that it may seem like it's a little boring um, to be able to do some of this. Here we go. Here's another one. Um, I love the fact that there's lots of different options here. This is also a curbstone found in Noth. Um, and this one's a calendar. <laughs> so this one's a calendar, sun, moon, stars, and when it's night, days, okay, um, the months, okay, year, small cold winter sun, large warm summer sun, eight events, okay, so, um, it's it, this is just fascinating um research isn't always the most exciting part um at least certainly to observe however this is really where inspiration strikes seeing things like this having a point of reference gets you embedded into the images of a culture of um, a civilization and being able to call from that, how can I translate that into paint? How can I represent this? How can I represent it in the best possible light? Um, and um, it doesn't hurt that this is part of partially where my family is from is Celtic, like I mentioned before, um, Irish and Scottish. So um, this has been, this, this is uh, reminding me of how much I enjoyed my time in Ireland. Um, in Scotland and would dearly love to be able to go back. Um, but that's what this is, is research. So I hope that this kind of gives you an idea. As you can see, I've got a lot more books to go through um, in order to help me determine what the next steps are. What paintings am I going to produce next? Because part of producing a series is knowing what you're going to paint. What are you going to paint? Knowing where that in imagery is, knowing where that inspiration comes from is important. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this process. And the next time we see each other, we're selecting one of these and we can get painting. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little bit of insight into what it is to research a series. Um, but I have some more work to do and uh, I'll see you next time.